Hello witches and welcome back to my channel. I've been trying to sit down and record this video for like 30 minutes and I keep like fucking up and people keep coming into my room and all this creepy shit keeps happening like my like I this like shelf on my wall that I keep like random shit on like hats and stuff and it just randomly fell down. Like no one was around it, it just fell down. I was like Okay. I will make them a video about all the paranormal shit that happens in my house some other day like once I get more receipts and facts and like have it all on file for y'all because I just think I'm crazy and all the paranormal stuff that happens is just me being fucking crazy but yeah so I did a Instagram poll and a Twitter poll and I was like what do y'all want to watch like I have a couple ideas in my head but I don't know what the people want, and I asked if y'all wanted a Mystery Monday, because Mondays are normally Mystery Mondays, or y'all want a Scientology video, because I found this cool Wikipedia page about this, like, camp at the Scientology church, mega church, I don't know what they are, but they have this base that they own. I read this Wikipedia page, and I was like, oh my god, like, I have to talk about this. So I asked everybody what they wanted, and I asked on Instagram and Twitter, and Instagram, the poll, decided Scientology, and I was like, bet, like, that's what I want to talk about, like, I know more about Scientology, well, not Scientology, but this camp that Scientology has. Maya, stop! Sorry, my dog's being freaking annoying. So, Twitter had mystery monday winning and i was like this is like conflicting because i don't know what to do but then a bunch of people requested scientology and i really wanted to talk about scientology so i was just like you know what let's talk about scientology today and not a mystery monday because yeah let's just make Devin die because the scientology department is big and bad and might want to kill me because I'm talking about them. But if they do, you know, whatever, at least I'll go out with a bang. So yeah, so basically Scientology is like, I want to say a church, but I personally don't view them as a church. They're like a bunch of high up and rich people that are in it, like you have to pay to get in it, and like you can't leave or talk about Scientology, you sign a bunch of contracts, like it's basically like a cult in my mind. But, yeah, so that's not what I'm even talking about. I saw this thread on Reddit, and it was like, what's the creepiest wiki Wikipedia, why can't I talk, Wikipedia page you've ever seen? And this, like, guy, the first link that was there, he was like, the gold base that the Scientology department owns. I was like, I'm clicking on that because Scientology is just so weird to me, and I thought it was interesting, so I clicked on it. And basically, when you click on this page, you, some, like, you as a regular person that's free in this world, if you're reading this, you basically think this is a prison camp. Like, this is not a normal place. It sounds like a prison. Like, the camp is this big camp, and it has the um, leader or the head of Scientology has his big mansion there, and it's, like, a huge area of, like, little, I want to say they're, like, huts. They're not, like, houses, but they're not, like, huts. They're, like, little areas where all the people that are in this camp stay, and basically they have, like, a bunch of, like, fences around and security and, like, guard dogs. Like, it's, like, a prison camp if you were like just passing by you'd be like oh that's a prison like not anything other than a freaking prison and then you look it up and you're like oh Scientology owns this weird Maya stop my dog is being so annoying I'm very sorry I keep talking to her she's about to piss me off and this is the fifth video I've made I'm just gonna keep pushing but anyways it is the headquarters of Scientology and is located in San uh, Riverside County in California. 
though it lies in the county area of Gilman Hot Springs and is like 100 miles from LA. It is heavily guarded and comprises about 50 buildings surrounded by high fences topped with blades and watched around the clock by patrols, cameras, and motion detectors. The property is bisected by a public road, which is closely monitored by the church with cameras recording past the traffic. So it is a church. I just don't see it as a church, I guess. Um, sorry, I'm looking. Like, I don't like reading it off to y'all because it doesn't feel as personal, but, like, I need to get the facts right for y'all because it's better for me to make sense. But yeah, um, I'm not really going to read to you what it all is. I'm just going to tell you like how living at the gold base is. So basically, the Church of Scientology has like a strict criteria for those living and working at the gold base. Many are children of high-ranking Scientologists, including some of Hubbard, who is the like head of Scientology's own children and grandchildren. According to an author, those seeking to be assigned to Gold Base had to be members of the Sea Org. They were required to undergo IQ tests and pass a battery, a battery of leadership, personality, and security tests. Members with family connections to the government, government or media or with any friends or family who had left Scientology on bad terms are not allowed to work there. I've heard that Scientology is really, like, big on no one knowing what goes on in Scientology, unless you're a member, because, which to me seems kind of shady, because if you're, like, a normal church, you want people to know about your church, so they will get involved with your church, and your church will grow, but not Scientology, they're just like, no, like, don't say anything, don't tell anybody what it's like here, like, no. Maya, stop! Oh my god, my dog's eating something. My dog was literally just eating some chocolate peanut butter M&Ms, and if she dies, it's her own dumbass's fault, because I've told her no so many times. But anyways, let me get back to talking about this camp before my dog just passes out and dies. Um, so yeah, Scientology doesn't want anyone to know about what they're doing, which is sketchy as hell, and I don't understand that at all. But, hey, go off, sis. Do what you want to do. Not my business. And, yeah, let me just tell you more about what they're not allowed to do. They're also not allowed to disclose the location of the base or to discuss their jobs or activities at the base with anyone outside the base, even fellow Sea Org members. They were banned from taking any form of public transportation or taxis, and instead had to travel on special Scientology buses or in private vehicles driven by approved staff members. So, yeah. Residents at the base are not permitted to leave without the permission of a supervisor and have to work at least 16 hours a day from 8 a.m. to past midnight with shorter hours on Sundays and little time for socializing. Communications with the outside world are effectively cut off. Cell phones and internet access are generally banned. Mail is censored and can only be sent via the inter internal mail system. Passports are kept in a locked filing cabinet. And I read somewhere that said that their mail is, like, checked. Like, someone checks their mail before they're allowed to open it, which is freaking illegal. Like, you're not allowed to do that. But the Scientology is just doing whatever they want to do. They don't have any rules, I guess, whatever. And, um, although the system was reportedly dropped around 2000, workers are still subject to a ring of privileges and punishments. Weekly paid is supposed, is said to be only around $50 given out in cash on Fridays. This amount is only nominal, however, as fines for infric infractions are commonplace, according to Lawrence Wright, the amount actually paid is often as little as $13 or $14 a week. Now, if I was working 16 hours a day and only got $14 or $15 a week, I'd be out that bitch so fast. Um, 
Well, yeah, I'm just going to talk about what I know. I was just reading y'all some of the rules. But what I read was, which is the same Wikipedia page, but I feel weird just reading off because that's just annoying. So I read that, like, they don't want a lot of children there. So if you come and you're married, you and your husband have your own, like, little loft, not loft, but, like, little area to sleep with another couple so you have to trade off with this couple like some person sleeps in the bed one night and then the other person sleeps on the couch and you just trade off but if you get pregnant you have to get an abortion like they force you to get an abortion if you don't they will give you longer working days and like heavier labor so basically they're trying to get you to like kill the baby from working so hard which is so sad like really and yeah there's this picture that said I joined the Sea Org and all I got was this lousy abortion it was like some lady just holding it up like that's kind of sad like that's sad I'm trying to read okay their food that they are allowed to eat and if you listen to this all I think about is like Prisons get better food than this. But food is basic, consisting of meat, potatoes, and salad for those not being punished, or rice and beans for those who are. The average cost per meal, according to Mark Heatley, who was involved with the financial planning, was only 75 cents per head in 2005, significantly less than that is spent on Californian prison inmates. Excuse me. Unmarried staff live in dormities while married couples share two-bedroom apartments with two other couples, meaning that one pair gets to spend each night sleeping on the couch. Many of those on the base are reported to not have left the property for over a decade. The Church of Scientology describes conditions at the base as being like one would find in a covenant or seminary much more comfortable. In the mid-1980s, women with children under the age of six were banned from joining the Sea Org as the church no longer wanted it to to be, uh, no longer wanted to to provide child child care for the very young. And apparently the children were interacting with productivity. Ex-members of the church had said that they were pressured to terminate their pregnancies to comply with the policy. Somewhere between 60 and 80 percent of the women on the base had at least one abortion, with some claiming indigenous to get the county to pay for the procedure. If a pregnant woman refused, she would be separated from her husband, put on heavy manual labor, and vigorously seg-checked, which means interrogated. If she still refused to get an abortion, she would be sent from the base in disgrace alone. The church had denied that it has pressure anyone into having an abortion and says that it does not consider pregnant women to be degraded beings. That is so sad. Like, being separated from your husband and, like, kicked off this base, which I would be happy to get kicked off, but a bunch of people wanted to be there. Like, they chose to be there. But let me keep explaining. Um, there was tons of escapees, but every time people would escape, the security would go get them and bring them back and they would be punished. Um, uh, they have a blow drill, which is launched to recover the escapees. Low teams stake out bus and train stations, airports, and hotels in the vicinity to intercept the runaway. Another method was to call hotels, motels, and airlines in the disguise of a sick relative to try to find out the escapee was booked in for a flight or a stay. Although such inter- information was supposed to be confidential, company <coughs> sorry, company privacy rules were evaded by escalating the calls to an ever higher level of sur- seniority until an answer has been gotten. And on one occasion reported by Wright, the vice president of an airline was talked into giving up an escapee. That's a big deal. It just seems to me that, like, 
they really don't want people going out into the world and telling what happened in this camp. Like, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so we're going to talk, at the pe- uh, talk about the people at the top of Scientology. So, life at Gold Base is reported to be more comfortable for the leader. David Miscavige, I know I'm saying that wrong, but I'm sorry, and celebrity Scientologists. Most staff were not permitted to have their own vehicles, but Ms. Kavige was reported to have a customized motorcycle, which he rode around the base, as well as a range of other vehicles, included a Roadster, a Range Rover, a luxury SUV, and a high-performance BMW M6, as well as a custom-made armored GMC van equipped as a mobile office. His food costs ranged between 6900 to... 69,000 a week with food flown and fresh from East Coast or Canada. His villa is said to have a 169,000 sound system in its own private screening room. Apparently, he's also a dog dog lover and has maintained up to five dogs on base. They wear their own miniature sea org uniforms and hold the rank of captain. Staff are required to salute the dogs as they pass by. Staff are encouraged to donate their back pay to buy a president present for the leader. One year, he was given a $69,000 motorcycle, and other years, he received diving equipment, high-end cameras, and Italian shoes. Church folkman has said that, from the staff's perspective, it was the least they can do to appreciate, to express their affection. What? This man makes them salute their dogs, I mean his dogs, and they want to appreciate him. Now that does not add up to me. Okay, let me look. Okay, well their VIP visitor is obviously Tom Cruise, but I feel like a lot of people know what Tom Cruise is up to in Scientology. Uh, Let me look. So, a bunch of law enforcement has attempted to, like, investigate the gold base, but have been blocked by legal difficulties and the unwillingness of those on the base to talk to the police. I'm still looking. A bunch of people have brought the Scientology to court about this, but obviously Scientology has really good lawyers and nothing really happened. Here's one of the interesting ones. The U.S. Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals noted in a ruling given in July 2012 that Mark Headley had been made to clean human excrement by hand from from a pond on the compound with no protective equipment, while Claire Headley was banned from the dining hall for up to eight months in 2002. She lost 30 pounds as a result of subsisting on protein bars and water. In addition, she had two abortions to comply with the Sea Org's no children policy. The Healy's also experienced physical violence from Scientology's ex- executives and saw others being treat- treated violently. So basically, this prison is just... Like, it's not even a prison. Like, if you look it up, it's beautiful. Like, it looks like a mansion with like little houses like it looks like a little I don't know it's like really pretty it's doesn't look like a prison it doesn't look like anything that you would think that all this stuff was going on but it is like just makes no sense to me and I hear that they're getting paid $14 a week but they still have to pay to be at this camp but they're doing work basically for free. Well, that doesn't add up. And I also read that um, if what was I reading? like people go to this camp for like training to be in Scientology. Training. Yeah, it seems like free labor to me. And um, I also read that Tom Cruise's wife refused to like let their children be in this 
camp because Tom Cruise wanted them to be. So she divorced him. So her children would not be put in this terrible camp. I just can't get over that. The leader makes them salute his dog. All five dogs. Like that just doesn't make sense to me. But yeah, this is a pretty short video. It's just like, there's a lot more about it. But if I talked about all of it, this video would be like 30 minutes long. And who has the time? But yeah, um, let me know what y'all thought about this. It was pretty interesting to read about. I'll link the Wikipedia page down below so y'all can read it for yourself and like get all the details that you want. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and have a great rest of your day.